What's up everybody? Welcome to the longest awaited video of eternity. A tour of my 2003 Dodge Ram B3500 van. The one I've been living in for the past year. So without further ado, let's go check this bad boy out. So here we are. My brother and I started working on this van in March of 2019. It's been through two versions of the build. The first version you guys saw um, in the PC van life video that I did a while back. And this is actually the second version I started on back in November. But a lot of stuff has been left over for, from our first build, specifically all the cabinets, the countertops and whatnot. Um, and the fun thing about the cabinets is that we actually got these cabinets off of Facebook market for like 15 bucks a piece. And we just used the face of them um, to make it look nice. And what's behind is just like some cheap wood that we got from like Lowe's or Home Depot and stuff. And then part of the phase two build, I started building more storage um, because things started getting a little crammed. This is the kitchen, by the way. We're in the kitchen of the van. This is where we store the food, cook the food, we chop the food, and this is our refrigerator. This bad boy is a Yeti cooler. It keeps ice cool, cold for like five days. And even when the ice is completely melted, the water stays cold for a good couple days as well. And it's on a sliding system, so it slides all the way out, pops open, it's a little bit of a mess. Might as well pop one of these bad boys open while we're at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is where we store the utensils along with a bottle opener. Um, we also have uh, store pots, pans here. I want some more, I need more storage. <laughs> this van is still a work in progress. <laughs> Why are you laughing and ruining the shot? I'm not ruining it, keep going. <laughs> <I'm> okay, <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on. I'm... Are you even recording? Crying over here. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Life hack: If you're ever in a van, you want to try to save, save as much money as possible. So we take a lot of like uh, jelly and stuff from Chick Fil A, a lot of sauces, store them for later use, and it saves a lot of space by doing that um, by having little packages. So this is the sink of the kitchen. Uh, this is the newest addition to the van. I survived so many months in the van without having a real sink, and it was okay at first because I had like a little. A jug of water that had a spout on the end I could wash dishes with that or uh, fill my water bottle up with that but it got really really old and I decided to finally break down and add a sink in so here we are finally and it's made my life so much easier you have no idea I can wash dishes fill things up super easily this sink is not actually hooked up to my solar um, I try to conserve as much power as possible because I like to use it for my electronics so I decided instead of going with a a real electrical pump for my sink. I decided to go with a foot pump, which is totally manual, and you just squeeze down. You can, I like this better because it conserves a lot of water, um, and you can kind of manage the pressure by how much you press on the foot pump. Um, so it actually works out really, really well, and I'm so stoked that I went this route instead of a, a real electrical foot pump because it saves me so much power. And in here, I store uh, just like dog food, Bags. I mean, if you don't have bags under your sink, are you, is it really a sink? You know, you gotta have like Walmart bags and stuff. Like that. <laughs> so that's the kitchen. Let me take you guys over to the living room. Follow me. <laughs> I'm worn out from walking that far. Holy crap! Woo! It's a big house. All right. So this is the living room. This is Millie. She's my beloved puppy that joins me everywhere I go. She's the best. I love her. Say hi, Millie. And she is sitting on an awesome couch. It's a very, very cozy couch. I can sit here and <laughs> cuddle with Millie. I can sit here and cuddle with Millie all I want. And I can play video games on my TV right here. Right now, uh, I've got my Switch hooked up. Um, but I can also hook up, my, hook up my laptop or something to play movies off of if uh, my Switch is being dumb and I want to... Right... <laughs> And right across from the couch, we've got the storage for all of the clothes and knickknacks. Starting with right here, I've got a makeshift drawer here. It's kind of hilarious. Um, I'm gonna replace all these drawers with actual size drawers, but this is a junk drawer um, with a very, very, very small drawer. 
it's obviously not ideal, but it just stores junk stuff. Um, and again, I'm gonna replace that. This one actually doesn't work yet. And then another junk drawer right here with miscellaneous stuff. Store some books up here, a little nightlight. <clears throat> and then down here is where all the clothes are stored. It's a little crammed, but it does the job. Um, I've got these little, I don't know what these are called, but they, they store stuff. So I got them from Walmart for five bucks. So socks, underwear, shirts, pants, shorts, and miscellaneous clothes, whatever. That all fits in all my wardrobe. No, that's, that's a lie. That's not all my wardrobe. Most of my wardrobe can fit up here, which is pretty awesome. So this is my work area slash gaming area. Now it looks a lot of different from the last time you guys saw it. And that is because I actually don't have my PC in my van anymore right now. I'm currently in the works of building a small form factor PC, which I'm gonna be doing a really cool video about. So stay tuned for that. Right now I just have my work laptop and my tablet. Um, I can sit here and do my work and it's actually really comfortable. I got this chair from Walmart. Um, it was like a regular office chair. I can pull this out and I can, and I can, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> So I can pull this out. Why does that not want to pull out when I want it to pull out? Pull out game weak. I know, right? And eventually I'm gonna have my keyboard on my mouse here so I can play some gnarly games. And my monitors are actually gonna be mounted up here. And my PC, I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. Uh, probably on, in one of these cubbies back here. Again, I think this is a really comfortable setup. For a lot of people, this would be really tight. But unfortunately, so when you live in a van, you gotta make some sacrifices. You gotta sacrifice, what does he say? You, you gotta sacrifice comfort for freedom maybe i don't know but yeah i sacrificed a lot of comfort for this but i think it's going to work out really really well when i get it all fixed up so i'm super excited for that is another miscellaneous drawer i i don't know what i'm going to do with this just yet i'm um, still trying to figure it out you know what i could probably put my pc in here now that i think about it oh Which yeah that is a good idea yeah that would actually be a really good idea look at us heck yeah all right and now Welcome to the bedroom, baby. One of the comfiest, coziest places in the world. Because here's why. If I'm parked in a nice, beautiful, scenic area, I got front row seats, baby. And I wake up to the most beautiful sunsets all the time. Sunrises. I wake up to sunrises, <laughs> not sunsets. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And I can charge my phone right here, charge my camera batteries. And I can chill out, play guitar. <laughs> It's still out of tune. I can lay here, play guitar, relax, cuddle with Millie, um, watch TV, whatever, and it's awesome. And what's cool about it, it's almost a full-size mattress, so it can sleep two people super comfortably. And surprisingly enough, this break in the cushions, it doesn't split up. So like, it's not, like if someone were to lay right here, it's you totally can't tell. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking? I don't know. <laughs> You're the cameraman, you can't talk. <laughs> I think it's a few inches off of a full size. I think maybe like three or four. So it can comfortably sleep two people, which is awesome. The couch is really cool. This is actually, I looked this up on YouTube. The way I built this bed couch conversion is just like alternating pieces of wood. And I think all of this, this whole bed maybe cost me 30 bucks to build. It's super easy. I just followed a YouTube video and I'll actually include that link in the description um, if you guys are curious about it. But I highly suggest building a bed couch conversion in your van, it, it leaves you to have so much more room and it's still really, really comfortable and it's easy to build and super cheap. And under the bed is where we store shoes and in this box right here, store all my hiking gear and directly behind that is where I store camera gear. And the, behind these shoes is where all my solar power is stored in these batteries, um, which power an inverter, which power these lights, my TV, my um, switch, my computer. So before we go any further, I want to talk about this AC unit. A lot of people comment on this, and unfortunately, this is not hooked up to my solar. It it requires way too much power, so it's actually powered off my um, vehicle's battery. So in order for this to actually blow cold air, my vehicle has to be on, unfortunately. But when it is really, really hot, I can open up this fan here, and it sucks all of the hot air in the van out. And if I crack a window up front, or even these back windows, it pulls fresh air in through the windows and it takes all the stair, stale air out of the van through the fan. It's a lifesaver in the summer. You, you guys have no idea. 
and it closes up just like that and voila and this bad boy right here what voila it's voila what did i say voila what am i supposed to say voila is it voila 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 <laughs> and this is my emergency hatch now as much as i love this thing because i can open it up i can climb on top of the roof i can look at the stars i'm gonna have to replace it because there's a lot of leaks in it and from what i've heard from many people that have the same model van they've experienced the same thing as you can tell there's a bunch of um silicone which i've been patching all the leaks and i know i know i need to i need to address these leaks because there could be mold accumulating up here which I'm going to address really, really soon. I'm actually planning on taking this out and putting a skylight in, which will be super duper nice. Um, that is going to be my next project, which I'm excited for, but I'm also really sad that I'm gonna lose the ability to be able to open the hatch because that, that lets out a lot of heat in the summer too. So let's move back even further. I'm gonna show you guys the closet. Uh, this is where I hang jackets and whatnot. We're gonna take these off. So back here we hang clothes, jackets, shirts, whatever. Right under it is laundry, propane tanks, and under it's tools and whatnot. That I consider the garage, but to get a better look at that, we gotta go outside, so come on. <sighs> All right, so this is what I would consider the garage, but my garage is a lot different than most. It's very, very compact. I really wanted to have a nice hallway down the van. So I decided to put everything to one side. So it's really, really compact. I store bags, um, folding chairs, some tools up under here, uh, my propane, obviously my dirty clothes. Um, I even got a heater that would be powered off shore power or something. Um, and but directly behind that, I have a propane heater, which I don't use that much. Um, I only use it in dire situations because I'm a little sketched out about Propane and carbon monoxide, even though I do have a carbon monoxide detector in my van, I still get sketched out. I'd rather just bear the cold. And directly on the other side, this is where I keep my GoPro and just mis miscellaneous PC cables and drone protector wings and whatnot. And this, dog toys, dog sweaters, collars, leashes, all the good stuff. Oh, these panelings. This paneling is something that everyone always comments on. They think it's real wood, which I think is really, really cool considering what it actually is. It's this vinyl paneling that I got from Lowe's or Home Depot, I don't know. And it's like $20 per eight foot. And it's just like this wood, cheap wood paneling and it looks nice. And I think it's a great alternative if you're on a really, really tight budget. <clears throat> I think it's a great alternative if you're on a really, really tight budget, but you still want your van to look really nice. This is the way to go. And they have a lot of different variety of options. Highly suggest it. Oh, we've turned around. Now we're in the front of the van. Whoa. Why are we showing the front? Well, let me show you. Whenever we need some privacy, you just you got this beautiful tapestry. Check this out. Just slide it across like that. And now no one can see out of the front. Right behind that is where I keep all the toiletries. My fire alarm. Always have a fire alarm and a carbon monoxide detector, which I haven't shown yet. But this is where we keep all the toiletries. Toothbrush, cologne, tampons. I've got to have tampons. <laughs> You never know when you have an emergency. Tampons are a necess necessity. Shampoo, all that good stuff. More tampons. Um, oh, oh yeah. Um, so we're gonna close that. And then what I think is the, one of the coolest things about this van, y'all. So this door is actually on a bus mechanism. I don't really know what it's called. I kind of want to like get rid of it at some point because it's kind of annoying because I can't open the door from the outside. I can only, only open it from the inside. So I'm gonna shut it real quick. And check this out. We got a mirror, baby. So this is where I actually do all my grooming, which I need to do really bad, actually. And yeah, I can uh, kind of just stare at myself in the morning and contemplate. I do my hair, I brush my teeth, I trim my nipples and <laughs> cut my beard. So yeah, there you go. That is that is the bathroom. That is the the place where I do stuff. That's it. So there you have it guys, this is my van. This is my home. This is what I've been living in for the past year. And it's got a lot of memories in this bad boy and I cannot wait to continue to make more. I'm only gonna be adding and adding more to this van along with filming everything that I do with the van and all of my journeys along the way. So please, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload next. And for all of you new people here today, I just wanna say thank you so, so much for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me these past few weeks. It's truly been unreal. 
and I cannot believe this is even happening, but I'm so, so excited for the journey that we're about to go on. I don't really know what direction this channel is going to go, but I'm really excited to grow with you guys and go on this journey with you guys. Again, thank you all so much for your time today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.